There are a few circulating stories about the discovery of the effects of coffee and its initial consumption. They all revolve around an Ethiopian goat herder called Kaldi. It's said on one fateful day Kaldi noticed goats in his herd behaving inordinately energetically. On further observation he linked their behavior with red berries growing on some bushes which they were seen eating. Curious, he tried the berries and found he too began to feel animated. It wasn't long before he shared this new discovery with others and the berries became popular throughout the land. It's not known if Kaldi was a member of the Gala tribe in Ethiopia, but they are said to have consumed a mixture of ground berries and animal fat earlier than 1000 AD. Arab traders soon encountered coffee in their travels bringing it back to their homelands and cultivating the plant on farms. It was these Arab traders around 1000 AD who were also likely to be the first to have boiled the beans consuming them as a drink identified for its ability to prevent sleep. Bernard Lewis, in his Istanbul and the Civilization of the Ottoman Empire, tells of the Ottoman scribe Abraham Pasevi who wrote of the first coffee house in Istanbul. Until the year 1555, in the high, God-guarded city of Constantinople, as well as in Ottoman the lands generally, coffee and coffee houses did not exist. About that year, a fellow called Hakam from Aleppo and a wag called Shams from Damascus came to the city, they each opened a large shop in the district called Tatakale and began to purvey coffee. Declared an infidel threat by the Vatican in fear of Ottoman influence, Pope Clement VIII after no doubt tasting the drink himself was quick to declare it acceptable for Christian consumption. In 1645 the first of what would be many coffee houses opened in Italy. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to find out about our next chapter discussion from All About Coffee.